The Premier League title is wide open. It's up for grabs for anybody. City will still probably win, but here is why this season is going to be absolutely insane, and you better strap in. Kevin De Bruyne is set to miss three to four months with a hamstring injury, but that isn't the overarching thing at play here. Hello, everybody. I'm Sideline Sato. Welcome to the Sideline Sato YouTube channel. I cover all things Premier League football and beyond on the channel, so subscribe if you're into that, and let's get into why I think the title race is wide open and it's up for grabs for just about anybody in, I'd say, the top eight, realistically. Um, maybe top six, but top eight is fair too. But Kevin De Bruyne, injured for three to four months. He was subbed off in the first game against uh, Burnley on the opening day of the Premier League season for the 23-24 campaign. And I think that while... You know, Kevin De Bruyne has put himself through a lot of stress with how many games he's played season on season. It's a lot of mileage on his legs. This was a long time coming. This is going to happen more and more to veteran or aging players. Effectively, De Bruyne has an injury that is reoccurring now, and he might have to miss extended periods of time, might even need surgery. But why are players getting more injured? It feels like even Timber, somebody who isn't necessarily playing 60 games a season, He's relatively young, not too injury prone, also suffers an injury. And I'm not saying that either of these injuries are a result of this, but I think we have to look no further than the extended time that's been added here. And then we'll get to see why the title race is truly just in free fall. Anybody can get it. There's 37 games left to go this season, but the first game of the season had nine minutes of extra time or stoppage time. I should say not extra time, nine minutes world cup kind of had this approach where they were really non, you know, they were strict about how much time people were allowed to kind of time waste. And they were very diligent in enforcing the stoppage time, but nine minutes is a lot. And then if we go to Nottingham forest and arsenal, another game with nine minutes, if we go to, Bournemouth West Ham, seven minutes right there. Right here, we have eight for Brighton Luton. For Everton Fulham, we have seven. For Sheffield United Crystal Palace, we have six. For Newcastle and Aston Villa, we have seven. Brentford and Tottenham had five. Chelsea and Liverpool had five. And Manchester United and Wolves had 10. So 10, five, five, that's 20 minutes. 27 minutes, 33 minutes, 40 minutes, 48 minutes, 55 minutes, 64 minutes, and 73 minutes. That is just of extra time, or stoppage time, I should say, that was added on to this past Premier League game week. While that might seem not like not a ton once you see that you know the first half has like almost an equivalent amount of stoppage time added to the half you notice that these players are going to be playing close to 10 15 minutes of more football and i think as a result a lot more players are going to be injured i mean if we look at city's lineup just for example city is in a great spot here where city has you know they have kevin de bruyne who is playing here in kind of like the box midfield with Rodri. And you have the likes of Mateo Kovacic that can come in there, Lucas Paqueta's length. And City is just the type of team that can go out and figure out a solution here. They had John Stones there last season. Uh, maybe even someone like Guardiola could play this role. They have Calvin Phillips still. They have depth is what I'm saying. But if you look at someone like Burnley, Burnley really doesn't have too much depth anywhere. They just signed Sander Berga. For example, say Sander Berga went off injured with a three to four month hamstring injury. Who do they have to rely on? They'd have to rely on someone like Josh Brownhill, which no offense to Josh Brownhill, is a significantly bigger drop than say Kevin De Bruyne to Kovacic or Kovacic to Stones or Guardiol playing there or Stones and Guardiol to Calvin Phillips. It It's just the sheer lack of proper reinforcements for all the Premier League sides in terms of how much they can take on in this season is going to really be 
at play here. I think a lot of injuries will occur this season. I think KDB's injury, while it did kind of start last season, it's more of a reoccurring thing, is proof that big players for teams, the likes of KDB for Man City, the likes of Rashford for uh, Manchester United, Salah for Liverpool, um, Hyungman Son for Tottenham, etc., etc., they will have to be managed very delicately in the near future for the remainder of the season, really. The season started off with a lot of fireworks and a lot of fixtures, some major injuries, some red cards, some nasty challenges. That'll build up over the course of a campaign. And once you start to add in the European competitions, those top half sides are really going to have to dig deep to make sure that their star players aren't too fatigued, injured, or honestly just exhausted with the whole congestion of fixtures of fixtures so in a way i feel like while this is exciting it provides you know some more drama at the end of games an extra 73 minutes on average of just the second half in stoppage time across 10 fixtures that's on average like what 7.3 minutes so every player has to play another seven minutes each game for a season that'll be like by the end of the season I mean, ballpark estimate, another like five, 10 games they have to play, depending on how hard the games are, how tense they are. It's just going to be an absolute nightmare for some teams, especially teams in European competitions. Injuries will mount this season. Mark my words. Come back to this video two, three months from now, and we'll see just how many huge stars, rotation players, and more will be out injured for lengthy periods of times teams will be in peril mark my words but comment down below what do you think of the new stoppage time rules that have been enforced in the premier league season for the 23-24 campaign so far what do you think of kevin de bruyne's injury and who do you think is going to win the premier league this season thank you so much for watching i'm sideline sato peace